You just spent four years at the university living lavishly, robs every night, you know what I mean? You're <laughs> <laughs> living good, right? Go up a little bit, right? 
you just spent four years at the university living lavish, eating robs every night, you know what I mean? And you're living good, right? So you ain't about to go now, you ain't going, you ain't going to the west side, you're going to get your little spot in Fairline. So you're about to spend another grand a month. You're about to spend a grand a month in rent, right? So now what? That's two grand. So you got seven hundred dollars left. You went to college, you might drink a little something on the weekends, you know what I mean? Pop a couple bottles every once in a while, and then what about food? You gotta eat? And don't slip up. I hope you don't got no kids, because you ran out of money. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what it would fit into the picture. <laughs> You're gonna be working, so how you gonna pay for naked? So I say all that to say, um, he said, Devin, it all depends on where your cash is from. Middle class people, they buy a bunch of liability. But he said, Devin, if you want to separate yourself, you got to learn what an asset is. And an asset is something that puts money in your pocket. Many different forms. You got real estate. You got stocks. You got bonds. You got all, you got business. You got business here. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, he said, Devin, put your focus on assets. I make right around here. I drive a brand new car, but I ended up with the company that decided to give me a free car. So this isn't in my picture. I went to school, but I was doing a little ahead thinking before I went, I put myself in a situation where this ain't in my picture either. The rent, I didn't go out like a lot of my friends. I wasn't too good to live in certain places, right? Like some people, they, like I, I got people I work with, to be honest, they didn't tell me shut up. I can't live over there with I don't feel comfortable. But me, I live in West Africa, uh, probably about five minutes from Wookville High School in a nice quiet neighborhood. All my neighbors are older, so I feel like I live in a little suburb to be honest because I'm the loudest dude on the street. I bought a house and I'm only spending 500 a month on my mortgage. So I, I bought a house. I purchased a house and my mortgage is only $500 a month. So I'm not giving somebody $1,000 a month to live. I'm building equity in my home, ultimately in an asset that's gonna be able to get passed down to my children and their children's children as they take care of it. So the goal that I'm trying to get at, he said, Devin, your income is gonna determine everything. What you do with your income is gonna determine everything. Most people's life goes like this. And that's why most people typically have no money. Because you owe $20,000 on a car, that's a $500 note. That's an expense going every, out of your mind. You go out every weekend, that's another $400 going out of your mind. An asset is something that puts money in your pocket. A liability is something that takes money out of your pocket every month. Right now, my house takes money out of my pocket every month. Because I'm paying $500 a month to live there. Ultimately, I'm going to turn that house into an asset. So once summertime comes, I'm personally going to pack up my bags and I'm going to go buy another house. And I'm going to rent this house out. So this house that I'm living in now will become an asset. And that house is going to put... That house is going to put $350 cash in my pocket every month. And then I'm going to live in another house. So I'm going to have another house that I'm paying for. And then the next year, I'm going to go do that. Ultimately, the goal is to build up this column. So you got one, you got two, you got three. Ultimately, things that you can pass down to your family. And that you can build wealth so that if one day you're like, man, I hate working for somebody else. I don't want to go to my job no more. You might have 10 houses bringing you in $3,500 a month. That's more than you was making 50K a year. You know what I mean? So the ultimate goal is to fill up this asset column as much as you can and limit your liabilities. Everybody want to keep up with the Joneses. Everybody want to look good. Everybody want to drive around in a new whip. But ultimately, who cares? When you first get it, it's the best feeling in the world. Hey, like you out here flexing. But after a couple, after a month, like you like, all right, this is old now. You know what I mean? Like I've been doing this. Nobody complimenting you no more. It just is what it is, you know? So instead of focusing here, like most people, you really want to separate yourself financially and ultimately be able to do whatever the heck you want to do with your life. Um, your income has to somewhere find its way here. Now I'm not saying don't go out, because you still got to live. Live your life and have fun. I went out and I bought a $20,000 motorcycle. I told y'all, I'm not the smartest, but I worked with <laughs> I worked my butt off through college, and that was my goal at the end of college. That was my gift to myself, and I wasn't letting nothing that stop me. But guess what? Once summertime comes, and I rent this house out, that $20,000 motorcycle is being paid for by that house. Now I'm thinking, what toy I want next? I'm just playing. I'm chilling for a little while. But, 
But seriously, that's what you can do. You can buy assets that ultimately pay for your liability. And that's how the rich get rich. And that's how the middle class stay middle class forever.